My name is Adina Bayo. I'm a multi-unit franchisee with brands such as IHOP. Uh, I own four IHOP currently. I have my own brand called Cornbread Farm to Sew. We have multiple locations of cornbread. We're in Maplewood, we're in Newark. My IHOPs are all located in urban centers. That's your Newark. We have, we have two in Newark, we have one in Irvington, we have another one in Patterson. So that's my story. <laughs>
me and my roommates at the time used to spend a lot of time at IHOP. We used to go there to study for midterm. We used to go there, hang out. We went there for first dates. I was in love with the brand. I believed in IHOP. I loved it. I wanted to do nothing more than to own my own IHOP. But most importantly, I wanted to bring IHOP to my community. I wanted to make sure that the brand had goodness to it. I wanted to make sure that the brand had goodness oozing out of it, that they believe in doing good just as much as they're doing in selling pancakes. So your due diligence have to be is, what is the, what does the brand believe in? What do you believe about this brand that align with who you're trying to be as a business person, right? So I believe in alignment. I believe in their financial performance over the years. Um, do your background um, um, work. Talk to franchisees, go to different stores, call them and say, hey, I'm thinking about opening up an IHOP. Do you mind if I follow you or shadow you for a day? Do you mind taking me on as a men as a you know as a mentee? Do your research in the brand because guess what? It's a marriage. It's a marriage. So whatever you do, make sure you have alignment. Make sure their goals are aligned with what your goals are. Make sure that the brand doesn't have any kind of any kind of toxic past history that don't align with you. And for me, I was in IHOP. I was in love with IHOP before I opened my first IHOP. So it was a no brainer. I've been happy since then. <laughs> I think if I was to give one advice to franchisor looking for someone like me that believe in community, that believe in equity, that believe not in equal but equitable distribution, I believe that I believe in empowering women, all women, particularly women of color. I think we have to understand that to attract someone like me there has to be an understanding of culture. There has to be an understanding of creating space because oftentimes we say we want to put women at the table. They get to the table, but we silence their voice. We don't give them enough voice, right? So for someone that want to attract someone like me, understand that when you bring someone like me to the table, you're not just bringing me. You're bringing my whole community. I will be their voice. I will give them, I will give you insight to what my community want. And there gotta be a certain level of respect for that. So I would say just create a space. I have, have done this beautiful thing where they've given me this platform and this space to just truly be me. And so I would say, give them space to be themselves.